Hey, welcome back everyone. Toysh is here, and let me tell you, there's something strange in the old neighborhood. Who are you gonna call to make your Ghostbuster toys? Super Hasbro! That's right, Hasbro's got their brand new Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Fright features basic figures, we'll say, but they're really called Ecto Stretch Tech now. And I'm gonna go with that, because Fright Features is very much Kenner, right? Real Ghostbusters, I will say. Four figures in this wave. You get a figure, you get a proton pack, and you get a really cool looking stretchy ghost. And by the way, we're all gonna turn our brains off here. These are children's toys, $10 each. Ghostbusters right there on the packaging. And yes, children out there buying these toys, this is Paul Rudd, right? <laughs> We're gonna call him Raw Pud. That is in no way, shape, or form Paul Rudd. But this is Gary Gruberson, and let me be the first to welcome you to Pukey, <laughs> the lovable ghost. Much like Afterlife had Muncher, now we got Pukey with the whole Ecto Stretch tech. Whose tech is it? Is it Egon's? Is it Ghost's? Who knows? The boxes show all kinds of ghostly images like Pukey, He's a full roaming vapor. And basically, you take the ghost and you stretch it over the figure. We're going to test that out, that's for sure. Here's the barcode. These are starting to hit Target store shelves now. And, of course, that's where I picked up all four of mine. Now, Callie Spangler. She is, of course, Egon Spangler's daughter. She looks like she's going to be picking up the old proton packs this time around. And she's going up against the Trash Bag Ghost, which is a much better name than Possessor, or call him Hefty. <laughs> That's an awesome looking ghost, I will say. Here's the barcode for old Callie Spangler. And speaking of Spanglers, there's a whole bunch on this new Ghostbusters team. Apparently, we have Phoebe Spangler, who's a little bit more grown up, at least that's what her figure is reflecting. I would say the artwork looks much better, along with Bonesy, right? Get it? It's a skeleton. Ghost. He is a class three distinct human form, which is all kinds of terrifying. And here is the barcode for old Bonesy and Phoebe. And of course, we're left with the fourth and supposedly final figure. I guess it remains to be seen. But we have Trevor Spangler and Slimer. Slimer's finally back. Uh, this artwork is not doing Stranger Things any favors, that's for sure. But on the backside, it's very much the most Ghostbustery package out of them. You got slime every which way. I like to see that. Tobin Spirit Guide, for some reason, mentions Slimer, but he's a full roaming vapor. And you got the Ecto Stretch Tech, which again looks like slime. I'm hoping it's very slimy textured. Here's the barcode for Slimer. Now, like I said, these are very basic toys. I'm not gonna go too crazy on them. They're 10 bucks each, figure ghost. That's not too shabby. That's affordable for the children because yes, these are every bit children's toys. But hey, us Ghostbuster nerds, us Ghostbuster collectors, we'll certainly find some value here, that's for sure. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of ectoplasm. This is a look at the brand new Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, the Ecto Stretch Tech Action Figures by Hasbro. So here's all four figures and all four ghosts out of the packaging. And speaking of which, you do get this really fancy illustration in every single box of a frozen firehouse along with the rest of New York City. I'm interested in this movie. I'm hoping it's good. Fingers crossed. And this is a very flimsy piece of cardboard, just FYI, go easy with it. First and foremost, we got Pukey and Gruberson. These ghosts, because of their texture, will attract all kinds of lint and everything else, just FYI. I absolutely love the ghosts. When I saw them in store, that's what made me go, let's get these going. Let's check them out. These fairly stretchy, Let's just say that. He's not overly stretchy. Kids will definitely get a kick out of this. It's not like how the box shows you. If you pull these too far, they will essentially break, right? There's really not a lot of give to these, especially with pukey. So that's just a warning to you parents out there. Tell your kids, go easy on them relatively. Like They don't have to go like kid gloves, but you get what I'm saying, right? Now... Simply take your Ghostbuster and drape said ghost over the head 
and pull down and essentially you're doing what the packaging is telling you. So it's basically you're sliming your Ghostbusters, which does work effectively. It's also very reminiscent of the old Swamp Thing figures by Kenner. You can also put the ghosts on the Ghostbuster, pull back and launch the ghosts. Kids will have a blast with these. I think that they really did a good job utilizing ghosts and Ghostbusters. And yes, a ghost like Pukey is classic. Now, speaking of Pukey, we have Gary Gruberson, <laughs> who we met in Ghostbusters Afterlife. These are utilizing the same look, the same cartoony art style, which I actually appreciate. I know I'm ragging on the whole Paul Rudd looks, but I will much rather prefer this because then it's less movie star-ish and more let's have some fun here. Proton Pack is removable. It's the same deal as the last bunch of figures from the movie. They've not changed anything except for the head portraits for the various characters. The one main gripe that I have, there's no Neutrona Blast for the Neutrona wand. So when you play with it, it's all in your imagination. You get the idea. That's something they should have utilized. It would have been a whole heck of a lot better. And also, just to show you, and again... These are for kids. You got to have a kid's mentality. They're not going to really care. Although it'll surprise you. Sometimes they will, right? This doesn't look good. These wires, they could have changed them to string this time around. I know they really did do the bare minimum with toys this time around, Hasbro. Uh, yeah. Anyways, it doesn't only really look the best. I think having them in hand just always keeps them looking straight and the wire not crossed. It could have had something that's strapped to the arm like the old Kenner Real Ghostbusters. That would have been effective as well, right? Just to be able to aim the Neutrona one at the ghosts. Just saying. Speaking of ghosts, we have Possessor, or I'm just calling him Hefty Bag. The trash bag ghost sounds so much better. He also kind of looks like an onion, right? But he's really cool. He's got the hole in the bag. He could do the whole stretchy thing. He fares a little bit better than Pukey in terms of the whole stretchy, malleable gimmick, right? Doesn't stand at all. He's entirely too front heavy with his whole trash bag face. But that's very much real Ghostbusters. I love the color of it. I just think that that really works. The design of this ghost is top notch. And you go and put the ghost on Callie Spangler or any of the Ghostbusters and you do the thing. Right. So very cool. I really like hefty. Now you have Callie Spangler, which again, likeness to Carrie Coons. No, not really. Besides the fact that she's got blonde hair, right? That's really it. It says Spangler on the uniform and she's got the same body type we've seen before for all the female figures. You got the same Neutrona one, the whole proton pack. You get the idea. Rinse and repeat. Not a bad looking figure though. And for Bonesy, Bonesy is, again, one of my favorites. I love his head. It's very jiggly. <laughs> Gonna have a lot of fun. All his guts are hanging out. Kids will have a blast with this. And he actually situates and stands upright. I totally dig that. The backside, and he's not as, for lack of a better term, deep <laughs> as the other ghosts for when putting them on the Ghostbusters. But you figure something out. He's fun. I love the sculpt, his tongue. The eyeballs are bugging. Kids, go very easy with the head on this one. Once you get it to a certain point, that is going to snap right off. He is not that stretchy like the other ghosts. He is in the mid-gut section and in the shoulders, we'll say. But I digress. Just be very easy with old Bonesy. And like I said, getting him around the Ghostbusters head and kind of doing the whole stretchy thing, not the best, but he is a great looking ghost, that's for sure. Now, I will tell you this, for a more older Phoebe Spangler, no, it just doesn't work. It looks like a completely new character, to be honest, but I get it. She's supposed to be older, fine, so be it. Same exact body type, same exact everything, same exact articulation. Neck, shoulders, and the feet. That's all that moves... It is what it is. It totally works for the play function of all these characters. Now, you have Slimer, and he's coming at you. He's going to slime you. This is, by far, one of the best-looking Slimer, quote-unquote, toys, even though he's a, a stretchy kind of thing. He does have a hole in his back, much like the other ghosts. You could turn him inside out. You could turn him into a green blob. It's even more terrifying in that form. But you get the idea. This is fun. And the sculpt really works, and you can have fun with him. Like, he can eat and chomp and talk, and kids can use this to really just have a blast. Like Bonesy, don't pull his arms too far, that's for sure. But he's squishy, he's a little spud, he's a green ghost. 
absolutely love the way that this looks. This is a great looking Slimer. If they put a little paint on the teeth, you would have been set. Just put them on your Ghostbuster and pull them down. Hey, there you go. And, and like I said, do not pull the arms too far on Slimer. Now with Trevor Spangler, I'll tell you this, unless you really just need Slimer, because that's really what I got it for. He is basically the same release as his Afterlife counterpart. There's very minute changes, but it's the same figure, same head portrait, different paints. I'll show you just a second coming up here. But if you have the old Ecto-1, I did not buy the new Ecto-1 that they just released with these because it is the exact same, except for a couple minor differences of stickers. And then on top of everything, while it has the whole firing mechanism and everything else, you get a drone ghost trap, but then you also get this Slimer. So if you get Trevor Spangler, you already have Slimer. And so technically, besides that, just the dumbest thing ever. The drone ghost trap. I have everything I need. So we're good. I'm good with this Ecto-1 and this Slimer because it does the exact same thing. Now, if I ever see the Ecto-1 on sale, which with the way the Ghostbuster toys goes, hey, you know, that's always a possibility. Wink, wink. But yes, then I would get the other one and get that ridiculous, so ridiculous ghost trap. Ghost trap. Drone. Watch, that'll be like the coolest thing in the movie, right? <laughs> of course, with me saying it. No, I digress. It's the same exact Ecto. You don't need it. It looks good with all the figures. Now, in terms of looking at what's come before and what we're dealing with now, we have the original and the older now. So you see the difference between the two, especially in body type. And you have the new Trevor and the old Trevor. So really, again, like I said, it's paint and just the way the arms and the limbs are situated. The new one has more outstretched, more outstretched legs, everything across the board doesn't really change anything, but I kind of like the original version better just in terms of how he's posed and how he stands in the simplest way. Now, to show you from Callie to the rest of the cast that we met in Ghostbusters Afterlife, it's a whole lot of people in gray flight suits, that's for sure, right? Good thing we got those colorful ghosts to give a little life to the whole situation, but we have the original team, all four Ghostbusters, and yes, if you have these as well, they will match up with these other figures. It's actually quite surprising that they didn't reissue these Ghostbusters with these newer characters. I would have figured they would, and perhaps they will later down the road, if there are any more. Now, we do get to look at the original, let's say, quote-unquote, fright features for Ghostbusters Afterlife Ghosts, with these new stretch tech ghosts. And while I did like these, they had certain elements. You got the bug eye ghosts and muncher. Some of them were pretty good, right? Some of them were very extreme ghostbusters, real ghostbusters. But I totally like these stretch tech ones so much better. And you had the more larger ghosts with ghostbusters afterlife. You can see the differences between all of these. These are definitely fun. I do recommend all of these. I think these fit very much within the realm of having fun ghostbusters toys. But again, the stretch techs are an excellent addition. So that'll wrap it up for my look at the brand new Hasbro Ghostbusters Frozen Empire Ecto Stretch Tech action figures. And I gotta tell you, for 10 bucks each, for getting a Ghostbuster, a Proton Pack, and a Stretchy Ghosts, yeah, it's not too shabby at all. Yes, across the board, I would have loved to have seen some changes, and I would have liked to have seen a whole heck of a lot more done with the Ghostbusters franchise, but I'm gonna say fingers crossed, other companies like Super 7 or NECA will eventually take on the real Ghostbusters because that's what I want to see. These are for children, but us Ghostbuster nerds, old school collectors, we can definitely see some fun in these. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Are you excited for the movie? Looking very real Ghostbusters. Ah, it's not too shabby. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, like I said, I'm not going to get my hopes up for this film. But just fingers crossed, it rocks. And when it does, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.